Hey guys, check it out. This is a 3D lab print Hawker Hurricane. This thing is amazing. It's all 3D printed. This looks so cool. All the scale detail is amazing. It's got these little guns on the front. We have this awesome three bladed prop. The best part about it is a small park flyer with retracts. Let's take this up and see how it flies. That grass is still just a little long for a good landing, but flies good. Hey guys, welcome back to the workbench. Before we get started on the build, we got a really cool trick that's gonna make your printing way easier. This airplane is printed out of 3D lab prints, lightweight PLA. This is really awesome material. It prints very nice and lightweight. But if you guys have used lightweight PLA, you guys know what disadvantage is, is you have to print these all one at a time because of the stringing that will happen. If you try to print two parts at the same time, you'll get stringing in between the parts. But there is a setting in Prusa and in Cura that can make this much easier. So when you're printing out an airplane with a whole bunch of really small parts like this, they're all about 15 minutes. So it takes a long time of checking your printer all day long. So there's a setting that can print all these parts out at the same time. In Prusa Slicer under print settings, you can check the box that says complete individual objects. Then for extruder clearance, make sure you set the height to something that's uh, larger than your printer. Once you have that setting selected, you can check this printout, how it prints all the pieces out individually. With this print setting, it makes printing an airplane out just so much easier, so much more convenient. And you can just set it and forget it and come back and you'll have a whole airplane printed out within a few days. So now that we have all the parts printed out, let's get to the build. All right, guys, we almost got this tail section all done. We just got to put the rudder on. Now, 3D Lab Print did a really cool thing with this design. They actually did a fixed rudder version also. So if you don't want to put landing gear on this thing, uh, you can save some weight. So let's finish up with the rudder and we'll get to the rest of this build.
So working on the wing, we just gotta glue this uh, center section to the outer wing portions. 3D Lab Print actually designed three different center sections. So this section here is for the retractable landing gear version. This version is a fixed gear, so then you can 3D print the part that goes into here, but the uh, hand launch, no landing gear would be the lightest option if you're trying to make a nice lightweight park flyer. So let's go ahead and finish up this wing. Uh, we'll glue these two sections together, and then there's a groove in the top of the wing that's used for a piece of plastic to glue in to make the wing nice and strong. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and attach the wing to the fuselage. Now there is a couple different ways to do this. Uh, they have a rubber band method. I'm going to go ahead and use screws for mine. We'll just attach the wing with these two screws and now it's ready for some paint. Alright guys, the paint job is done. Check this out. Doesn't this look amazing? My wife did an amazing job on the paint job. Now how she did the circles is actually 3D printed her a couple stencils and then she just laid them right on the top and then just take a pencil, trace out the circles and then just paint inside the lines. Super easy. I'll have these up on my Colts page for you guys to download for free. Next we just gotta put the landing gear in and finish up the electronics so this thing will be ready to go. For the landing gear, I had the wrong size landing gear. So these come in two different sizes. They're 25 gram, 77 millimeter or 113 millimeter. And unfortunately, I had the 77 millimeter uh, retracts, so I had to make my own uh, bracket to hold the wheels. So I just had three millimeter steel wire, and I was able just to bend it uh, to work for these landing gear. And then to hold the wheel on, to keep it nice and low profile, I just cut a slit in the, in the end of the wire and then bent it over to hold the wheel on. All right guys, that was an awesome build. It's so easy to put together. Let's uh, set the battery up and get this thing up and see how it flies. So I got the uh, three cell 2200 milliamp smart tech batteries and I have the Avion ESCs in here with an AR620 receiver. So I got real time battery updates on my transmitter uh, and I also have thrust reverse with the Avion ESC. All right guys, to set the CG, uh, I put two marks on the top of the wing here. It's just 60 millimeters right there on the front. Uh, so go ahead and put your finger on that. You want it a little bit forward for that, for the maiden flight. I have it pretty much set right on. This is the second flight. So I want to make sure you get that CG set before you fly this. Yeah, I used quite a bit of power to take off and she's a little squirrely once I took off. For that short runway. Yeah, I tried to take off, give it a lot of power for the takeoff. Hey, the bottom side of that wing, that uh, gray color to be scale, and it is a little challenging to see it on the bottom side, but that's what it's, that's the purpose of it, so. But 
Man, that paint job looks amazing. It flies awesome. Yeah. All right, guys, that thing flew amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next build.